Hey guys, Mike Macklin with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com. So today we're going to be talking about pre-exhaust training when, it, when we're uh, discussing emphasis placed on to the biceps. Now what is pre-exhaust training? Pre-exhaust training is maximizing a muscle overload principle onto a specific area of the body. In this case we're talking about the biceps by executing a single joint movement followed by a multi-joint movement. When you think about movement, a lot of muscles in the body are primarily um, emphasized by single joint only exercises, such as the biceps. A lot of people don't really know what else to do when they want to focus on you know, maximizing the overload and really stressing the biceps to get the biceps that you are looking for. So a lot of people obviously will just do things like curls. Now curls are a single joint movement, which means that only the elbow is the active moving joint. My shoulders aren't moving, nothing else is moving other than my elbow. So it stresses and places a lot of load onto the biceps head, depending on the hand position because you have two different heads of the biceps, both a long head and a short head. When you're executing a bicep curl, obviously you're doing you know, a workout or an exercise that places load onto the biceps. But once you get done with that, you still can still do movements that will still emphasize the biceps, but also utilize other muscle groups in the body, such as in a pull-up, okay? So depending on the hand position, for these purposes, because I want to place a lot of load onto, the majority of the load onto the biceps versus the lats, I want to use an underhand grip, or in this case, what's known as a chin, okay? So because of the supinated position that my arm is in, if you notice, if I were to have an overhand grip here, my biceps lengthens, right? So an overhand grip, plus the elbows are flaring out if I were to do a regular pull-up. Now I'm not utilizing as much of my bicep as I am my lats. But because I close down this distance, put my elbows here, now my lats, in a sense, are in an elongated state. I'm still utilizing other muscle groups because now it's a multi-joint movement. I'm having movement both at my shoulders and at my elbows but the primary muscle that's emphasized is the biceps, it just has other muscles assisting it. So when you wanna talk about pre-exhaust training, try this. The next time that you're doing biceps, do your set, whatever your sets and reps are. So when you finally get to your last rep, superset, utilizing the pre-exhaust technique by doing a single joint movement, into a multi-joint, stop, put it down, go right into an underhand grip, chin, or pull up. What you're gonna notice is the amount of load placed on your biceps is gonna be significantly increased as a result. Give this little tip a try, pre-exhaust training, utilizing the biceps. If you guys have any questions about this, or anything else, please ask me any area that this video is posted, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, or on the Workout Trainer uh, website. And you guys can always ask me a question directly on WorkoutTrainer.com by clicking up at the top on the website under Community, finding a drop down that says Trainers, clicking on that, finding myself, Mike McElaine, and I will get back to you. Until next time, guys, take care.